The Hero Initiative started in 1999. I actually come from a sports writing background, and Major League Baseball has something called BAT, B-A-T, the Baseball Assistance Team. And the whole idea there is that a lot of early baseball players weren't well paid. And now, of course, even backup middle infielders are making $2.7 million a year. But the guys who really founded Major League Baseball and really pushed it to the point that it is today really weren't very well compensated for what they did. And they absolutely built this foundation that today is Major League Baseball. Well. Absolutely, that analogy exists in the comic book business. Uh, Hero Initiative, I've, I've been around um, since their inception, back when it was called ACTOR, the very confusing acronym of ACTOR. Because people would be like, what's this for? And he'd be like, it's an, a benefit for ACTOR. And like, I thought it had something to do with comic books. And he'd be like, it does. It stands for a commitment to our roots, which has something to do with comic books. Very confusing. Now they've renamed it Hero Initiative. Makes a lot more sense. They got a little superhero looking guy as their logo, so now everybody knows that it has something to do with geek culture. Most of the creators back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s really didn't make much for money. There were no royalties, there was no ownership because they were freelancers, there was no kind of pension plan or anything. And these days, if you go to something like the San Diego Comic Con, I mean, you will see a convention center that is a full two city blocks long. It's over 250,000 square feet of convention space. There's over 100,000 people a day, and that's what the comic industry has become. But a lot of the people who really laid the foundation and put down the building blocks for what it is weren't very well compensated. And a lot of those guys are now kind of up there in age. They might have medical or financial difficulties, and when they do, the Hero Initiative is able to step in and help them out. We're a federally chartered charitable organization with the specific mission of helping out older comic creators with medical and financial need. I'm at the point now where I can walk maybe 10 or 20 feet without getting completely exhausted. Climbing the stairs to me is like climbing up a mountain. I'm on disability because I have a multiple sclerosis. Uh, at first it was just like, it made it a little hard for me to walk. I would limp, you know, people say, oh, what'd you do, hurt your foot? That kind of thing. I mean, it just got worse and worse and worse to the point where it's so like kind of progressed up my body and it's affecting my other hand and stuff like that. There was just like no way I was going to find a job. I was basically homeless, living in my vehicle with my five-year-old son. Just him and I, his mother had long gone, and um, we had no place to live, no money, no food, no nothing. And a friend of mine said, well, there's this outfit called Hero Initiative, and I went, who are they? I never heard of them. And he said, you should contact them. So he gave me an email, and I sent an email, and the next thing I knew, I was being considered for a grant. I guess one reason, the main reason the Hero Initiative is needed is there is no other place for these people to turn. The Heroes Initiative, I, you know, if I can do something for them, I'll do it. It's a, a great organization. I mean, I think it's just great that, that, they've, that they're even doing something like this. Um, because, you know, back in, back in the old days, they didn't have anything for, for people who worked in comics. And you know how what it is like these days. I mean, people are, people are suffering, and people like me who, you know, I guess I don't want to call the old timers or whatever, but uh, the, the, the unemployable, you know, old artists, you know, and since in some cases are, uh, you know, need a, a little bit of help, and I think it's a great, a great idea and a great organization that they do this kind of thing. People in my situation, comic book creators who are down and out, there are several others like myself who developed cancer as we get older, as the new generation has taken over, of course. I was active working in the 80s, and they provided me the means with which to get off the street and be non-homeless for a while. Hero means a lot to me because I've been in the comic book business for <laughs> more decades than I'd like to think of. And I've been so intimately connected with so many artists and writers over the years, some of whom have, um, are in need of help right now. And it's just great that there's an organization like Hero that's there to help them. Mm -hmm.